Definitely Take pulling that. a dill right now. What's up, Salty? What's up? Haven't been here in a while. Let's get into this match. We have Jewel versus Karma. Now, Jewel, I, uh, he's... I, I'm going to say recent because I haven't been here in a while, and I had not really seen him when I was commentating here a lot. But he is a super solid Robin. Already here in winner's quarters. These guys playing for top eight. I don't know if Karma's ever made top eight at Zeno before. Uh, I don't know either. Yeah, so he's no. really close right Thank now. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> With the, the eye in the sky. Uh, so he is playing right now for possibly a really, like, even though, you know, we're coming to the end of Smash 4, we might not have the same robust brackets as, like, 2016. Top 8 at Azino was top 8 at Azino. You've got to beat these hard, <laughs> you know, these super good players in order to get there. And now that he's so close, only pressure doesn't get to him. Did you know I top 8 at Azino once? What? I top 8 at Azino. Wow. Uh, yeah. Back in 2015. Yeah. Be so impressed with yourself. I am! I was playing really good that day, and then I stopped playing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop competing, rather. Yeah. Became the commentator we know. And, uh, I don't know about that. I just I just talk, man. We got. <laughs> okay, so, Jewel, I love this dude, right? Because his Robin's really slick to watch. He does, like, all the slick ass uh, McNasty combos with all those projectiles. And also, we just go for the simple stuff. You gotta grab at 80%. Which is, yeah, that current percent where you can easily go for a grab into an up air to get that year. Yeah, I have to say, every time that uh, somebody grabs one of those items, whether it's like, you know, the book or the sword, everyone wants to do a cool thing. Like, they do suboptimally things because they want to do a cool thing. Yeah. Sometimes it's the most awful. Ooh! Dash, Dash attack. attack. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. Well, you, I mean, you got it. That was probably the worst DI that's ever existed, but it might have killed anyway. Oh, Ooh! here we go. Oh. oh. Yeah. No. He, he tried his hardest. Power I'm, shields the shield breaker. Very daring. You know how being footstool is like the worst feeling in the world? Oh! <laughs> that was unfortunate. That's, uh, that's the and, only word. No, I would say that was very fortunate. No, That was pretty cool. No, no one's happy about that. I'm uh, not happy I'm, about that. Like, Karma's obviously not happy about that. Jewel's probably... Jewel's not even happy about that. He's like, what? Are you sure? Whoa. Jewel looks pretty what content that, with dude? himself. He, he died at, like, 5%. Like, from an up... From Robin's upbeat. His, he was just trying to get back to stage, you yeah, know? Yeah, it was, at, like, he was at 35%. Oh, my God. Some days it'd be like that, yo. This is why everyone stopped going off stage and just started ledge trap. Mm hmm Does that get the counter picked back to Marth? Realized that Lucina had too much of an affinity towards Robin, so I had to get an unknown third party character into the mix. Yeah. Well, yep. I mean, isn't Marth still attached in some way? No. He's like great, 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 great grandfather to Lucina or some, some nonsense. <laughs> well, it, it's beyond lore wise. One yeah. advantage that Marth would have is uh, longer range. Mm -hmm. And considering that, you know, Robin is a character that likes to keep you out. Just that tiny extra bit can really help in terms of zone breaking. Getting the PK, PK Thunder, Arc Thunder into Mash that. Bro. I feel like Karma Mash definitely bro. did not mash at all. Got that trade, sword to sword. Sets him up with the up air. Oh, now this is situation is kind of worse than yeah. last game. 91%. Not only that, I'm pretty sure that down throw up air would connect and kill it here. Definitely we'll looking for it. the grab. Your is that? A, I thought it was called like the checkmate or something. No, it's yeah. definitely called one up air equal your. So <laughs> that's what it that's what it means to me. Hurrier. Your. I call I call it the hurrier. <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Hoo ha was. Did I never call? really understood it. It's a who. And then aha, uh, what's there to understand? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we could have done better. Like ding dong. Think about how great ding dong is. I like her here. How about all, you know, when Ultimate comes out, we take all of those, like, down throw up air combos. Nope, I'm Call still calling it hoo -huh. I don't care. Oh, he's dead. Oh, good night. Good luck. That was fantastic spacing, just being outside of his range, crouching there, waiting for the opportunity to strike, and what an opportunity it was. Brings him at least back into the running in this game, but he is still down by quite a bit. 59% to zero, healing up off Anos for Atu. Playing, dribbling. The more you, the longer he chills on that ledge, the the more he's gonna set up with like his projectiles and everything. 
See him dribbling with that sword, setting up for the trap. Tries to get the Nosferatu out of the arc fire. Good DI, though, from Karma. Able to avoid that. And <laughs> you don't want your opponent going back to zero. You've worked so hard for this 17%. Oh, up air to back air. Not going to do it, but looking pretty cool. Spikes him into the stage. You get the bounces. Goes for the up smash. Calls it a day. Jewel cleaning that up pretty solidly to move on to winner's semis. Yeah. Top eight of the other side of the bracket. Yeah, it is. <laughs> looking, uh, he's looking pretty nice. I wonder who he's fighting next, if we can possibly get a look at that.